Today we're going to take you through a tour of our 2017 Fleetwood Pace Arrow 38K. We're also going to show you what we like and what we don't like. Let's get started outside. Okay, in this bin um, we have our outdoor rug, uh, the outdoor fan that we used to keep flies away with, we have a little storage container that contains the motor oil and outdoor spray. and whatever the knickknacks you might want to add in there and this storage bin is uh, a bin that goes all the way through to the other side of the coach you can see all the way through this tray pulls all the way out for easy access to uh, tools or equipment that you may need within the bins and this slides back in box in this is our windshield cover. It snaps on. You can see out, but it's hard to see in. Okay, in this bin, uh, more storage space. Here to the left, we have a Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner that cleans the inside of the coach. Uh, one of my favorite things to use. Um, in this bin, to our right, we have just another bin full of tents, stitching cords and stuff. Also in this bin, it's not being used, but it's for hanging tools or whatnot. Uh, have really found a use for it. Also, this side we can fill the fresh water tank as well as on the other side. And in this bin, we, uh, have electrical fuses, a little storage space, but I wouldn't put nothing in it to uh, might mess up the electrical system. But it's space you can use. Okay, within this bin here, we have our hydraulic fluid for the jacks. Um, in this bin, we have a magnum inverter that's off right now because it's the coaches and been parked. All right, on the driver's side of the coach, we have in this storage bin, the batteries, uh, this operates everything inside of the coach. In this bin, we have another set of batteries for the coach, as well as the depth tank that use for the diesel and as we move on down to these bins is uh, the outlet for the water and sewer here's the outlet for the water that feeds the coach from the faucet from outside sewer hoses got your gray tank black tank drains as well as an outdoor faucet if needed to use for the rest of the sand off of you. All right, in these two large bins of the coach, um, once I get my keys and open them, we have more storage space um, that connects to the passenger side of the coach. Also, we have the winding electrical system and as you can see, you can see all the way through the coach to the other side. As well on this side, we have the lever that pulls this large tray out. Easy access, easy on your back uh, to more storage space as well. And this lever once locks back in. In this storage bin, we have our 100 gallon propane tank as well as a quick connect that's on the passenger side of the coach. Last but not least in this bin, 
right up under the driver's side of the coach. We have an air compressor unit, which is great to have to pump up the tires if needed. Also, we have in the bags covers for the windshield wipers and the mirrors that was left on the coach. On this coach, it has a diamond shield protector coating over it. Uh, if you can see the little line here, what it is is a clear, almost like plastic type coating that covers from the windshield down to the bumper and it keeps we well, don't keep bugs off but it keeps the bug off the original paint and easy to wash and uh, stops the fading or acid from the bugs they may get directly onto the paint and i think diamond shield will come out replace it if anything happens to this they guarantee they'll work for a lifetime of the coach here we have the awning that's not out right now, but it is equipped with LED lights. Uh, comes out about 10 foot or so, maybe 12. Inside here is the TV, Bluetooth radio. They sit outside and listen to music. Welcome to our home on wheels. Come on in. So we'll start off our tour in the cockpit. Our coach does have a 340 horsepower Cummins engine and it also has the Allison transmission. Here is our camera system that allows us to see the back and both sides of the coach whenever we're riding or parked. Also, this is our Excite infotainment system. It has Bluetooth, Apple Play, and Sirius XM radio. And right above the entry, we have our command center. And this is where we can monitor all of our tanks, our fresh water tank, gray water tank, as well as the black tank. We also can turn the water heater on to electric or on gas. We also have our central heating and air uh, in the RV Comfort monitor here. We also can control the awnings and the step extend and all of that right from this panel. And in this cabinet, we have the Dometic awning control panel and this panel actually controls the awning. If the wind gets too high and the awning's out, it will automatically bring it in for us. And here are our speakers in the front of the coach. There's one on both sides of the coach and then also what I call a reading light right in front of it. On this side, we have our booth. It's a U-shaped booth. This table does fold down and it will make into a bed. And what I like about this booth, as opposed to the one we had in our other RV, the other RV was a little bit short, so you had to be a real short person to fit in that booth. But with this one, um, it actually is long enough, it's seven feet long, so it's long enough for most adults to get in and sleep comfortably. And in my kitchen at my sink area, I keep my Keurig coffee maker. And yes, it does sit on the counter. I do not have to take it on and off. It does not move, which is a good thing. We have double stainless sinks. And guys, these sink covers are so heavy. We have solid uh, surface countertops and they are really, really heavy. Um, underneath the sink, we have switches here that control lights in the front of the coach, the water pump, as well as the fantastic fan. Above my sink is where I keep my spices and my oils. Um, also keep some plates and some plasticware. Um, all those things that we need to prepare our food.
and this is a toaster oven guys one of the things that I really miss is having an oven because we didn't have an oven and y'all know I like to make my toast so I had to get me one of these it's a Sam's special it wasn't very expensive I think about $150 for it and I just want to try it out I've never had a toaster oven so we'll see how it works out and underneath these covers of course is my three burner gas stove a lot of the models um, in this year came with the electric stove top but mine I believe was requested by the previous owner to have gas which I don't mind I actually do like cooking with gas so <laughs> I'm good with it in these drawers I keep some plastic ware um, here I keep a cutting board some knives my oven mitts um, and then I'm not gonna even open that drawer guys that's just junk you know every kitchen has to have a junk drawer right so I'm not gonna do that <laughs> and then in this drawer I keep my silverware and my uh, long handled utensils as well as some plastic bags and um, aluminum foil these drawers are all awfully deep, which I really appreciate. Um, here I keep my um, baking pans nestled together that I don't hardly get to use anymore since I don't have an oven. But anyway, and also I keep some um, bowls. And then here we have a stainless steel residential refrigerator, which has lots of deep space. We hardly ever fill it up. And right now we're in storage, so there's no food in the refrigerator. It's not even turned on. Um, but um, when we do have to stock it, it's really nice. And then here is the convection microwave oven. And guys, let me tell you something. I am not a fan of convection ovens. I'm just not. I gave it an honest try. It's just not for me. And here we have a cabinet that I use as my pantry. I do wish I had sliding drawers, but I don't. I might add them later though, so stay tuned. Again, no food, because we're in storage. And here, guys, is one of my husband's favorite things. It's this Dirt Devil Central Vac. Y'all, ask anybody who has ever camped with us. My husband can be found in here with the hose attached to that thing, cleaning the floor several times a day. I mean, <laughs> it's one of his favorite things to do. <laughs> Didn't know he would love it so much. And here we have one of three televisions in the coach, and there's a sound bar located underneath. There's also LED lighting right above the fireplace. The fireplace also is for giving off heat as well as just lighting or ambiance. Um, and here's one of my requirements when shopping for a new coach, and I'm glad we have it. It's a seat is a sofa right across from the television. And this coach we actually have an L-shaped sofa. I added the cushions as well as the leather ottoman. Right above the sofa we have speakers for surround sound on one side and there's also another speaker all the way down at the end of the coach above the booth. We have day and night shades. Day shades for privacy where people cannot see in but you can see out and then the night shades for night. Above the sofa in the cabinets I keep extra blankets so if we're traveling or if we have um, guests then we can have blankets to use. In the half bath we have lots of storage cabinets and the fantastic fan. And now we're into the bedroom. Of course we do have sliding doors to close off the bedroom suite. We have a king size memory foam mattress. On each side of the bed we have windows with day night shades. Right now the night shades are down. We also have speakers above the bed that are um, connected to our sound system throughout the coach. Lots of storage above the bed. And night lights on both sides of the bed. On both sides of the bed, we have nightstands, we have electrical switch, we have the switch to lift the bed. We also have a switch to turn on the generator and a little storage cubby. 
And on the other side of the bed is where we keep our clothes. We have his and her uh, full size storage closets. We also have storage drawers and a television. Oops, and I almost forgot. I walked right past <laughs> in this closet. We have our stackable Whirlpool washer and dryer. No master suite would be complete without a bathroom. So we do have a full bathroom in the back of the coach. The window back here also serves as the emergency exit. It has day night shades. And we have a push button toilet. I don't know what you call this toilet, guys. I'm sorry, y'all. If anybody knows, leave me a message in the, in the comments. We do have more solid surface countertops and deep cabinets for storing towers and such. Of course, um, we don't have it fully stocked because it is, again, in storage. But we do have deep drawers in the bathroom. Uh, we have a glass enclosed shower with a seat and at the top we have a very large skylight dome skylight the skylight is great to keep the bathroom from being dark in the back of the coach but i have to close the bathroom door at night because in the morning the light is so bright it wakes me up way too early for a camp morning The takeaway here guys is that no RV is 100% perfect, but we thank God for this RV because it has been such a joy to us. We enjoy traveling in it and we just believe it was the best choice for us. The word says that God gives us all things to enjoy and it is such a blessing. You guys be safe. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.